It is time for this month's show and tell. I'll be sharing some of my favorite things and notable moments from the month of April. I'm talking about books, tarot decks, and notable media moments. So relax, sit back, get yourself a drink and maybe a snack, and let's start with memories. Some of you already spotted her in a previous video, but right here is the crate of our new puppy. Her name is Rosie and she is really, really sweet. She doesn't even know her name yet, so it doesn't matter that I'm saying it now. She is a real menace. Oh my God, she has so much energy. See, she is so different than our other dog that we have, Bear, who is more of like a chill chihuahua. He He's a Taurus, she's a Capricorn. I don't know what that means yet uh, for her, but it's been a totally different experience. It's been really fun, really tiring, but also really rewarding. I also got my diploma, I had my graduation, so I signed a diploma and I, I am now educated. <laughs> What was really a focus for me this month was PTYA, Part-Time YouTuber Academy, in which I enrolled. It's a course by Ali Abdel here on YouTube, and I want to take my YouTube seriously. You know, I love good quality. I have a good camera. I have a good microphone, and I just want to up the quality of my video production because I like making videos. I have had comments of people saying that they don't mind that I'm not, or that I wasn't editing my videos for a while, but I like editing my videos. Videos. I like having a high production quality. I like doing everything around just the recording of the video. I enjoy everything basically. So I sort of redid my branding on my channel, on my website, and I will probably end up redoing it just a little bit differently. Another thing that happened to me in April is that I had my first impersonator. So I got a lot of messages saying that there was someone who was pretending to be me on Instagram. So I sort of finally felt that I made it, but I also felt really bad because there were people that were messaging me saying that they really thought it was me at first, uh, but luckily they didn't really capture the way that I speak, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a very broad media taste, okay? I watch a lot of different types of videos. So this video from Charlie Barley, she combines two of the things that I really love, which is Stardew Valley and Pokemon. So there are Pokemon mods to transform the Stardew Valley game. And she has been doing these live streams, which I haven't been able to catch live but I've been watching the replays and I've been really enjoying those. I've also really enjoyed creating my own Help Me Say Yes to the Deck video and I've been loving your responses. I still haven't quite made up my mind on which deck I want to get or if I maybe don't want to get a deck at all because your arguments have really got me thinking. Books also fall under media, so I have been reading The Little Prince um, because it goes with a tarot deck that I got. Well, I, I read this first and then I got the tarot deck, but I read the Little Prince and I really enjoyed the story. I had never read it before. There is a Dutch version of it, but I've just never read it. And I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really a fun read. It was a very short read as well. It only has 27 chapters and most of the chapters are only a couple pages long. And I don't know, I felt really touched by the message of the story where adults are just being weird adults. And I don't know, kind of got encouraged and inspired, I guess, to get in touch with my inner child a bit more. Another book that I'm still reading is Wicca by Harmony Nice. I had this book on my wish list for a while, but then I decided like, I had this book on my wish list for a while, but there's this thing in my brain where I feel like Wicca is a religion and I feel like I don't want to read about religions or I don't want to feel like I'm initiating myself into a religion just because I have very, very negative connotations with religion. But then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to buy this book because I like Harmony Nice. I like the way that she presents information. I heard a lot of good reviews about this book. So I got it and I got to reading it. And so far, I really, really enjoy it. I like the overall approach that she has. Um, once I finish this book, I might do a video review on it. Let me know if you're interested in that. That, uh, but that is what I've been reading. And reading is not easy for me right now. You guys know I'm still in burnout. So reading with my brain fog has just been really, really hard. Then there are two podcasts that sort of are linked together in topic that I want to talk about. I first watched Mile Hires episode about Mount Everest. And oh my God, that was so interesting. I love Mile Hire as a podcast. I 
watch and listen to all of their episodes, but I'll link this one below. And then a few days later, Anthony Padilla came out with a video on people, someone who survived Mount Everest and someone who survived another really traumatic, like I think it was like a mudslide. It was an incredible story. So I'll link those two below. They really were so interesting. I highly recommend you check them out. I just mentioned I'm burnt out and this video from Mickey Atkins could not have come at a better time. It felt so validating with how I've been feeling and how I've been going through everything and how my burnout sort of came to be. So if you're interested in learning more about burnout or you've been feeling some symptoms that you might want to watch this video to see what it could potentially mean. Don't use the internet and don't use videos to self-diagnose by the way. But I'll link it down below and I thought it was a really, really good video. Let's get into tarot. So first, before I get into the tarot decks, there are two like little businessy things that I want to share. First of all, I have business cards made. Look at that. I purposely kept them super simple, but I'm so excited that I now have business cards. And the second thing is that on my website, I now have a third reading, tarot reading that you can book with me, which is a live online virtual meeting. So we will be meeting up probably via Google Meets because Zoom, I can do Zoom too, but I just, I don't like Zoom. And we meet up for half an hour and we meet up virtually for half an hour and I just pull the cards while you ask me questions. Okay, so let's get into the decks. I have three tarot decks. The video that came out before this one is a video review on the Millennial Tarot. So this is the Millennial Tarot. I'll insert some clips from the video review that I did. I really enjoy this tarot deck. I think it's fun. I think it's funny. I'm also really surprised with the depth of the readings that I've gotten. I definitely feel like there's more to this than meets the eye. And the guidebook also offers some really interesting insights. I received the Millennial Tarot for free, which I'm really grateful for. And I just highly recommend you check out my video review because I sort of say it all in that one. Then another deck that I got that I already filmed a video review on that might be the next video deck that's coming out is a Terror of the Little Prince. So like I said, I read the book of the Little Prince and that because I had my eye on this deck for such a long time, but then I realized, oh, there's a story, there's a book about the Little Prince that this deck has been, is, is based on. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna read the book first. If I like it, if I feel a connection to it, then I might wanna get the deck. And oh my God, did I feel a connection with the story of the little prince. So I had to get the tarot deck. Video review is gonna be up in a couple days. I'll link it down below when it uh, is live. It's so wholesome. It's so cute and it's so wholesome. The last deck that I got is one that I sort of got, not necessarily on an impulse because it has been on my wish list for a while, but it's the season of the witch Beltane Oracle, which is funny because I recall that I myself has said have said that I have never bought any of the season of the witch oracles and that I might never would, but I did. <laughs> So I got the Beltane Oracle. I have the Maybon one on pre-order. I'm just not really interested in the Sawin and Yule one, but I really am a summer and spring type of gal. So the Beltane one, look at this. It has, it has bees. Are these bees or wasps? I'm gonna say they're bees. I think they're wasps, but let's say they're bees. On the back and they're yellow and there's beautiful edging gilding. This is definitely a deck where I will have to read the guidebook before I can really work with it because not all of the keywords make sense a hundred percent of the time to me. But I look forward to working with this even though Beltane has come and gone by the time this video goes live. I still really like the vibe of this and I think it will do well as like a spring and summer deck to be honest. So these were my favorite things and notable moments from the month of April. I would love to hear your favorite things and notable moments from the month of April in the comments down below. Click the video on the screen to watch my review on the Millennial Terror. Like I said, definitely recommend you check it out. If not for the artwork, then definitely for the creative keywords. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.